Nun, Politana, and the topics, and I have a few requests here. I'll start with the first one and Kathy Evans. Well, can I ask the question first before I decide if I have to Yes, there is. Okay, originally I had that topic for the second meeting. Somebody told me that we weren't The second meeting, there will be no public comment. There will be. Well, it's just an informational meeting. So that's why I'm asking now if you'd like to say something might be a good idea. All right. We're all out of forms here. Many of us what the box and what forms. If, ma'am, if you would like to speak, if I'm done with these, you can just raise your hand, I'll fall on you, and you can come up and speak. Okay, Kathy, I'm 1899 Bards Road. As I said earlier, I'm here just as a citizen. I live in Eagleton Township, and I heard about um, that there was going to be a meeting today that would include the topic of hydraulic fracturing on the county wastewater property. And I wasn't aware that we were exploring that until today. I don't know if I've been busy or what, but I didn't know anything about it until today. So I'm not really prepared to give you a lot of specific comments, except that um, being that we rely on groundwater and drinking water resource all around that area, um, I would have concerns about um, what potential uh, effects there could be on, on that resource. Uh, we don't have public water supply out around that area. I know there's been talk about having it extended out there for industrial development, but I hadn't heard about it, um, you know, any of this in relation to potential frack fracking. Um, I also think that it's very important to just take our due diligence, find out more about the process, what the chemicals do. Uh, there's a lot of kind of secrecy around the nature of the chemicals and their effects on groundwater and the environment in general. Um, and I just hope that what we're doing here is exploring ideas. I don't know, because I don't really know what the agenda topic is all about, like I said. Um, so, um, in the, on the topic of fracking in general, I just think it's good to go slow, learn everything we need to know. We have a long history of using a lot of different techniques to um, maximize or exploit our natural resources for our economic benefit in the, in the county, and some of that's been great. And it's provided a lot of good jobs over the many years, from the sawmills to the foundries. Um, let's be careful as we move into the next uh, paradigm here of green energy, and look at it carefully and make sure that we're learning from history and that we're not getting ourselves into something that's going to be more expensive or harmful. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, go ahead. I'd like to make a comment. Uh, public comment on a new topic it should relate to ways and means. Uh, we have another s scheduled meeting after this at the Department of Public Works for an informational session. And uh, I would suggest that anyone who has a comment on a new topic should relate to ways and means. This is not an open forum. I, I, I agree. I that mine was the same thing. I mean, this is this, the new topic is a new topic to learn and That's what the purpose is. At, the, at this point, time, everything is on the gas and oil leasing or fracking for these questions. I don't know about everybody else. So, so they're the inappropriate. I'm going to stay on this one. I mean, I understand everybody wants to get their little say so in or whatever. I, I think Kathy, I hope she said, uh, you know, appropriately for the feelings that you all have about how we should go about this slow and look at it the right way. Um, so I, at this time, I'm going to, unless there's something else, if it's going to be all on the same issue, <laughs> let's hear the informational stuff and then maybe we can choose after that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be here all day, and I think Kathy said it best, that, you know, let's just not jump into it too fast. I hope that appeases everybody, and now uh, we will. Unless you have, ma'am, do you have something other than the fracking issue? Yes. Please step forward and state your name, please. Please let her talk about fracking anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> Shanti Davey, 43, the Heckley Point Lane, Norton Shores. Um. What ways and means do we have of letting our representatives know how we feel if we don't have public comment at meetings? And this meeting is always too early for many people to come. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. 
We want more transparency in government. We want to know what's happening, and we want to be able to comment on it. You see this room is full. We have, we have a lot of feelings about this issue, and we have scientific data, and we have creativity, and we have things to say about it. It's not right that we don't get to speak to our government and have public comment on these important issues. So I'm very upset about that. And like I said, we've commented before. Uh, I'm with Occupy Muskegon. We don't like these meetings at 3:30. Many people have to take. Many people here took off work to be here today. So this has got to change in Muskegon County. Here, here. Yay! Is there any other public comment on a new topic? Any topic? <laughs> like if we can talk about anything, why can't we talk about fracking? I'm going to talk about the same thing because I feel like she does, and I feel like so many people do here. Uh, how is it Kathy Evans, the most connected person in this town, found out about this issue just today? Well, you know what we all know about this issue. Because of occupying the street, and that's how we found out about it. It doesn't matter. Right. We all know it was on a new topic. So, the new topic is this thing got called at 3 30. We still are all here. This is, yeah. this is shameful behavior. People took off work. We are here to speak our minds, and you are doing nothing. You will not listen. These are not our little voices. You are paid to listen to us. Shameful. Shameful, shameful, shameful. shameful.